Hey folks, it's uh, it's Friday again. Time for a cigar. This is a Drew Estates Underground Shade. Um, not a big sh uh, Connecticut guy. Really like uh, things like Corojo and uh, wrappers of that sort. Um, Corojo, Sumatra. Not a big fan of Maduro's and generally not Connecticut's, but occasionally Connecticut's nice, especially on a nice warm morning sitting outside with some coffee. But these these shades are really good. They've got uh, they've got flavor to them that I don't normally get out of Connecticut wrapper, and uh, yeah, I highly recommend them. They're you know if you've had the Underground, the Underground is supposed to be the roller's choice to replace the Liga Pravada and. Yeah, you know the story. So let's get rolling. So I didn't know if I was going to do this format again, but I kind of enjoyed it last time. It's nice to be able to just talk and not really have an agenda. I got some things in mind, but I'm not worried about this. It's not, it's not going to be a very long video. Just a chance to just sort of say hi and get some things off my chest or let you know stuff I've been thinking about. Stuff I'm planning, whatever. Just a nice little informal chat. Makes the commute more interesting. And you can probably see I'm trying out a new camera today. Not the one that you're seeing me on, but uh, another one that you may or may not see, depending on how it goes. Uh, didn't buy it primarily for this, but more for things I got planned in the future, like. Uh, potential fishing trip or something like that. So, ah, my favorite intersection. We're back right where we started last week. So, ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, did we get lucky? That rarely happens this time of day. Actually, I'm a bit earlier now. It's only, it's only like 20 to five. I think last time it was around quarter after five. So traffic hasn't quite gotten heavy yet. So, I like this, this format, um, I got good feedback on it. I like it when guys make videos in a moving car because it's that much harder for them to do a box opening. That, sorry. <laughs> it's something I've been thinking about a lot. Um, so you guys know that I've, or I hope you know because I've been trying to make a point of talking about it, that I am very concerned about nurturing the community, making sure that we're inviting new people in, growing the community in an appropriate way. I think that's really important. And, you know, I've tried to incorporate some of that into my videos uh, with shout outs and things like that. And I'm encouraging you to all do the same. And there's a lot of guys that are doing that. And I really appreciate it. And my my basic you know bottom line is I don't care what the video is about really I just want you to have fun turn on the camera talk about something if you know what you're going to talk about when you turn the camera on that's that's probably a good thing I obviously didn't uh, today but that's not what these drive talks are about but It worries me, and, and really I am worried about this. This is not something that, that just annoys me, but it worries me to see the... Well, let, let me tell you what, what sort of led to this. I It, it kind of gelled for me this morning. I was watching a video early this morning uh, from our friend Jimmy Tabaki, 
and Jimmy posted this video last night, I think, um, and it was a very beautiful video. Uh, go and check it out. Give Jimmy a sub. He, he's a good guy. Uh, in the video, Jimmy talked about um, blessing and, and where you find blessings in life. And these are my words, not his, but he, he basically talked about sort of the overt focus on consumerism that many of many in our society have the drive to get a bigger house, a newer car, or a newer phone, wh whatever it might be, always trying to build possessions and how empty life can be. You know, you can, you can do that and I don't think many of us see life that way. Certainly the guys that I've interacted with over the years in the pipe smoking community tend to be more level-headed and grounded. Um, but it is a very empty life. Um, there's there's nothing, in the end, there's nothing there except possessions. And what can you really possess, you know? If you can't carry it with you, and then you're gonna die, and when you die, you certainly can't take it with you. So what what's the point of it? Spending time with the people you care about, your family, your friends, being able to say, I love you to the people that you love. You know, these, these are the things that are really important. Whether or not I have a Dunhill is irrelevant to me. So why am I talking about this? Well, I'm talking about this because I've noticed, and I've been noticing this for a long time now. It's, it's been well over a year that this has been bothering me. But there's just been recently just this proliferation of box opening videos and, and I don't mind a good box opening video you know I enjoy them and there are guys that do them well you know but you, if the video is simply opening the box saying look what I got and then moving on to, to the next video I I don't find that interesting but that's not the point here it doesn't matter if I don't find it interesting I'll just watch something else and for goodness sakes you don't have to make videos to interest me you have to make videos to make you happy and if people watch him, that's a plus. My worry is what effect this is having on new guys that are just getting into the pipe hobby. They come across YouTube as, as a resource, and it is a, a fantastic resource, one that I wish I had when I was first getting into the hobby. And they're just inundated with this, hey, here's the third pipe I bought this week, and look at this pouch of tobacco that nobody can find and, and I'm afraid that they're walking away from that with the idea that that's what they need to be a good pipe smoker that they have to chase that that dream I hate to even call it a dream that they, they have to be involved on that, that treadmill of where's the next pipe coming from I mean, my god I, I started smoking pipes in I think it was like 1987. I, I don't know exactly when. It was somewhere in the mid to, to late 80s. And I know for a fact that I bought my 12th pipe in the early 2000s. So for... What would that be? Yeah, for like 15 years, I had under 12 pipes. And I think for most of that time, I had under 6 you have to break in a pipe you have to you have to learn to smoke it you have to learn to love it, it if you're buying a pipe a week you're never going to learn to smoke any of them and if you're chasing every new tobacco that comes along or you know the, the rare ones that nobody can find well you're not training your palate you're just jumping from one thing to the next and always wanting something that you can't have It's a recipe for, for disaster, really. And it certainly isn't the way that I learned to love pipes. And it's not the way that anyone that I know, certainly not anyone that taught me, learned to love pipes. And I worry that these videos, you know, there, there's guys that have hundreds of videos and they're all either box openings or... VR is to give away so that they can have another box opening. And I don't mean to be critical 
of them. I'm just questioning the impact of those videos. And I'm asking if, if you're one of those guys, and I doubt that you are because you're probably not watching me, but think about that. You know, think about what the message is that you're sending. And, and maybe back off on that a little bit and instead, instead spend some time mentoring these guys because they'll appreciate it. And we're seeing a lot of them. You know, I, I've seen two or three people just in the past week that said something along the lines of, I never smoked a pipe, but then I saw a guy doing it on YouTube and thought that looks pretty cool. You know, so we really are replacing the the pipe shop in a sense we're we're creating a, a a community where guys can come in and say hey i think that's something i want to try we got to nurture that not just in the sense of them being people making videos but in the sense of them being pipe smokers and and not burning out because they can never get the right tobacco or because they spent their paycheck every month on a new pipe Get them started with corn cobs. Get them started with basket pipes. Get them good quality over-the-counter tobaccos. Or, or get them started with, you know, a C&D blend or a Dunhill blend or whatever. But don't keep chasing this unachievable ideal and thinking that that is somehow going to make everybody enjoy the hobby more. Because it's not. It's just making a lot of people get on a road to disappointment. And in the in the case of video making, and I was really taken aback by a quote that I that I heard the other day. I was watching a video, a woodworking video, not anything to do with pipe smoking, but this was a a true old world craftsman that works with hand tools and was making a fairly complex joint in wood uh, using you know chisels and hand planes and all of that and, and he was working very very carefully and you know he was saying something like take your time there's there's no rush and then he said the following he said it's not what you're making but it's how you made it and I thought about that and I thought that's really a quality lesson for all aspects of life. It doesn't matter that you make a video or that you make 10 videos. It doesn't matter that you buy a pipe or that you buy 10 pipes. It doesn't matter that you own an ounce of tobacco or 30 pounds of tobacco. But how did you get to that point? What did you do to get to that point? Was it a part of your life? Was it something you're proud of? Is it something that you learned from? I don't know, maybe I'm pushing the analogy too far and I'm sure that I've probably upset some people with what I said here. But like I said, it's been bothering me for a long time and I hope you understand, I'm not trying to criticize the people making the videos. I'm just asking them to take a look at the potential impact their videos are having. So, I don't normally do this kind of video. I'm going to have to uh, give this some thought in terms of whether or not I'm going to post it. But it's just me being honest. And that's really what I think these Friday Roadway Rambles are all about. So if you don't like it, you might not want to watch future Friday Roadway Rambles because you're getting me unfiltered and unprepared for the most part. And it's nice to be able to do that once in a while. Anyway, folks, I'm going to let you go so I can pay attention to driving. Hope you all had a, a good Friday and your weekend is off to a great start. And I'll see you all again very soon.